Greetings and welcome to our Happy Basin's Jungle Room. <laughs> Here we lovingly call our basin emerald tree boas Happy Basins because of their relaxed nature that wins over even the most hesitant visitors. I'm Amy Benzi, and in this video, I'm thrilled to introduce two grandmothers and their granddaughters. Stella and her grandmother, Paula, first visited us almost three years ago after discovering our emerald tree boas on Facebook. Since then, our emeralds have become even more social, with six now serving as animal ambassadors. Stella had the special chance to interact with all of them at once much to her delight and surprise. Mary Alice and her granddaughter Clara also experienced a memorable moment. Despite never having touched a snake before, they found themselves gently holding and loving our emeralds, turning their initial apprehension into awe. Enjoy this video of the heartwarming interactions between our guests and our happy basins. Now watch as I hand each emerald to Stella, whose enthusiasm inspired everyone to join in. When you're holding them, you always wanna make sure to support the end of their tails and their bodies with different parts of your hands and arms. As I hand Zoltus to Stella, I explain that the emeralds appreciate having their tail and as much of their body supported as possible. This helps the emeralds feel secure. They don't look real. I know. Here's Asmoa, who Stella got to hold on her last visit almost three years ago. And now here's Ningisida <laughs> and Jormungandr. Clara's getting closer. <laughs> A lap full of snakes. <laughs> don't be scared. Those snakes don't bite. They don't. Now Those snakes absolutely do not bite. It's a snake party. <laughs> How about a kiss? And here's Cassius Clay. As I bring Bella over, listen to Clara count the emeralds. She must have counted those snakes 20 times. Okay. One, two, One, two three, three, four, four five. five. Okay, six. six. <laughs> Grab that snake right there and put him back up. Asking someone to be helpful is the best way to get them to touch the animals. Mm -hmm. They're just everywhere. Can you keep up with them? And there's that one. Oh, they're like literally mating together. They're so right there. Don't be scared. Are they cold or are they warm to the touch? They're, they're kind of warm. They're cold blooded, so they, they don't. They do feel cool. Mm -hmm. They're cold blooded, so they don't make their own body heat. Mm. <laughs> that was just a tail. Mm. Or these things scared. They just like their tails touch. This one's usually a little squirmy. I thought, no. How do you tell them apart now? Before I answer Paula's questions, I want to get the grandmothers to join us. Would you two be willing to just come? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep from. Mm -hmm. Yuppie, they said yes. Here, go back down to Stella. Where are they all? Hey. This is the oh, birthmark. Back down here. No. Oh, He's oh. up there. I think. I still want the birthmark. How do they like they look weird? This one is not. There's no. two boxes. So if you guys look at the stripe on this one, mm -hmm. you can see it's a lot thicker than all the other stripes. Yes. See yes. that? Mm -hmm. This is Cassius Clay. Oh. And oh. he is the father of Isis's babies. Oh. oh. Yes. The males are much smaller than the females. Yeah. Yes. This is Asamoa. And I know quickly because she has he has two breaks right there. Oh. And I memorized them. But then I can confirm it by that little itty bitty white dot on his head. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, who's next? This, this is Nangishtada. He's very easy to I identify he's because he's so look at the size of his snout. Oh, see yeah, how nice it kind of curls down too. They're like everywhere. 
Yes. He has a nice Four. long snout, so he's yeah. very easy. Let me, I'll put him in front of your head, of your arm. Oh, I got it. Where's okay. that face? Hmm? Huh? It's so confusing. <laughs> it's just a pile of snakes, isn't it? Oh, this is, um... Do they go in certain zilch. cages? Or, or are they just all... Yes. So. You're correct. And then... This, I can already tell because of how squirmy he is, is Bella. But I also know because Bella has, first of all, he's the smallest. He has the smallest head. Oh. And second of all, he has a little thick piece right here that I've memorized. <laughs> you know how people have the same breed of dog and people say, how do you tell your dogs apart? Yeah. But you know them in a second. <laughs> He, see how he now he's got his tail wrapped and he's a little better. That one's empty. Huh? Tails. Oops, there's one right behind you. They're oh, everywhere. Let's get back over here. You can see it. There's this one that's beautiful. Right underneath there. Beautiful. It's actually not scary. It really isn't. So, is this your first time touching a snake? <laughs> Did you imagine you might touch a snake today? No, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Paula? You've touched snakes. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is my second what? time, I think. I so, Stella, this is your second time because these were your first? Mm -hmm. She uh, showed me uh, the snakes on Facebook, and mm -hmm. I, I was like, oh my gosh, I love these snakes. These are my favorite types of snakes. There's so many, they're so beautiful. And she said, oh, that's my friend. And I was like, I could possibly see these snakes? <laughs> and then when I came to visit, we came and saw the snakes. And I love the snakes. And here you are again. Jeez. They won't bend. No, they, they have a very um, strong mind and they know where they want to go. Just let them go, see what happens. Just hold them, hold them right there and let them do whatever he wants right there. Try to control them, the more they'll fight back. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see when we just hold them, they are perfectly fine. You see the difference? They kind of just sit. And they really like to have their tail wrapped around stuff. Mm -hmm. Oops, as a head, I was looking for a tail to wrap. I can't tell. One, two, three, wait. One, Here's two, a tail. Three, four, Here's five, one you can six. Just there's one more that's somewhere I can't check. There you go. This looks like she wants to come all the way out. Take this hand in here and see if he'll wrap it around. Or she will oh. wrap it around your tail, uh, oh. your arms. <laughs> oh, that's a tail. There you go. There you go. <laughs> see, if I try to hold him, he doesn't like it. But if I let him do what he wants to, Good girl, oh, look at that. Man. Isn't it awesome? Let him wrap his tail around your arm there and he'll be happy. Put your fingers, like, thread it through like a baton. Don't Oops, squeeze it. I got one coming hold. up around my neck. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure six is over there. Mm -hmm. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> I, you're doing it, and you're not even scared. Do you see a huge difference difference in the snake's behavior when you're not squeezing them? One, two, three, four. Do you love it? Five. I love it. <laughs> Mary Alice didn't hold Cassius Clay for very long, but she did hold him. I can keep him busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I got it in a picture. <laughs> Oh, this one's wrapped around so somebody. <laughs> Do they like for you to pet them? It seems them? like it. Oh, one's okay. like about to fall off over there. Get this one too. One's about to fall off me. Yeah. It's going down your back. Can That's you get it? Oh, look. She's going to get it. Where is it? It's. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Good thinking. Mm hmm. I was so proud of Clara for jumping up and repositioning Zaltus. Strong work, Clara.
When I would draw um, emerald boas, I would draw them with large head scales, but none of them have large head scales. I love the way Zoltis is just resting his head in Stella's hand as she strokes him. Now watch Stella calmly redirect Bella and listen to her explain why. She's scaring me because that looks like a striking position. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This way, striking position. With a lot of snakes, when they see food, they kind of like curl their necks so that they can spring out. And... Oh, geez, then all of them are doing that. There's three hands. Yeah. Oh. Right here. He is. I am Medusa. Very <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> I am Medusa. Medusa. <laughs> Look at that is that. precious. Sorry. Oh, that's pretty. Underneath me. I think what I'm talking about, like, that scratch me is that, like, sometimes the scale, like, goes back and it's kind mm. of pointy. Like, mm, goes in the opposite direction. Yes, and that's what was happening when you were holding them because they were moving different ways. But now that you're doing it like Thanks. this, that won't happen. Mm. That one's going to sleep in your hand. <laughs> and that's the way they like to curl up. I've had enough of this. Y'all have interrupted my night. <laughs> when you guys are ready to put them away, I'll just tell you where each one goes and you guys. Okay. There's a snake right here, too. Mm -hmm. Is it? Does his tongue tickle? I'll yes. I'll this. take this one right here. Okay, that one is Azamoa, and he goes in the first cabinet right there. All right, this one is Cassius Clay, and he goes right behind you. And you guys can just keep checking them from Stella, so who's going to be the easiest? Okay. So the one you have right there, this... I like this. And you want to take, take this one right Yes. Okay. That's Nim Gishsida. And he goes right there. I have handcuffs. Here, he wants his tail held first. From where? Right there. Can you open it? Yes. Here, take this one. The one in, oh, you know what, let's tell, I mean, let's, uh, Clara take them. This one. It's, it's Clara, you're doing such a great job. That one was real comfortable just sleeping in your hands. Mm-hmm. And I think that's Bella, too. Yes, that's Bella. What one this is? There you go, Paula, go ahead and help him. I thought Paula would have a heck of a time unraveling Zoltis, but she expertly unwraps him from the hammock. She uses her arms, hands, and fingers to make sure Zoltis always feels supported and secure. Beautiful work, Paula. I'm going to try to hold on to him so Clara can put him up. I'm sorry. Here, just climb him on. Where is this one go? That is Jormungandr, and he goes right here. Now, where does he go? Right here. Right this one. Okay. Isn't that the one with the black one? Yes. Okay. This one is. The Bella? Yes. Yep. And she goes over here. You want my favorite? Thank you guys for visiting our jungle room today. Did you enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> it was wonderful, wasn't it? I got mean, Did you mother it things? would be like this? I didn't. I mean, we didn't have that much interaction last time. You held I one, maybe? Two. two at different times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this time, how many did you hold? Six. Six all together. <laughs> well, I feel like a kid. I enjoyed it as much as they did. <laughs> the videos show it. <laughs> Thank you. Give me one more group picture. All right, one more group picture. That kind of broke apart early. Okay.
All right, one, two, three, look at me. All right, thank you, love.